Hi guys, um, this is more about bees again, so as you know, what will definitely happen if there is no bees. Um, as you can see on this buddlia here, there's a quite a large bee, and we've got quite a lot of them. Um, and they love buddlia bees do, which is good, and that's why we have a buddlia. And um, you can get different sorts of buddlia, but bees are really, really important, and as you can see, he's going right into the buddlia there, and he's... Um, feeding and um, getting pollen as so as then we can live and he's making honey well when he gets back to his hive that'll be and um, it's really nice to have bees and also we've got some butterflies somewhere on this bud here which I mean there's many today for some reason which is really weird I don't think you can see that butterfly thing just about see it and um, that's a painted lady and normally there's this bud here is full of them and basically you cannot see many of the shrubs it's just full with painted lady butterflies which is really nice because they're the second best pollinators um out of all the pollinating ones which um and then we've got wasps over there which there's a lot of them as well and they don't come to they don't tend to be on the budly as much as these ones but and people just think there's like three kinds of bu um, bees the bumblebee, the honeybee and just the bee but there's actually 150 different types of bees I think and that is a lot to what people think and you get some really really small ones and then you get big ones like this and unfortunately we got a bucket of water and um, one bee went in it and I think he's dead now but I have took him out to see if he'll live but he probably won't, which is a shame because he was a big bee and bigger than this one here. But um, I hope you guys will help the bees as well and help them live and um, as well as we never run out of food. Thank you peeps and please um, subscribe and put a like below if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.